Hello everybody, in this video I will talk about uh, timers and that is uh, relevant for solar because when you have a solar system you want to move as much of the electrical use to daytime uh, as possible uh, so even if you have an on-grid system with batteries the more activity you can move to daytime the better it is because then the, obviously the battery can last longer in nighttime so the more things you can move to daytime, the better it is. So here we have an example of a timer that we have put on a water heater, on a water tank. It's a small water tank. You get them in many sizes, from 30 liter up to more than 100, uh, according to what you want, how many people living in the house, etc. And this is just connected to a normal breaker in here. So the live and neutral goes from that breaker into this and then back again. That's how it's connected. Um, if you don't have any electricity experience, you really should get an electrician to do it because it's obviously dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. But it's very simple uh, to set up so anybody who has some experience with electricity can set that up. So it, it what it does, it just closes the circuit according to what schedule that you want. Um, so in for us it's very useful because uh, we can use those things, th that hot water that's connected to the tank, for example shower and you can connect it to a sink for example or a kitchen for cleaning dishes, of course anything you want. But if you heat up that water in daytime, you don't have to spend the uh, battery power or um, uh, grid power to heat up the water. So I'll just explain. These you can get for La Sava, just a few hundred uh, baht. Uh, they are not, uh, not difficult, but you do have to spend a little bit time to understand so that's why I'll go over it because some things are not so intuitive for example that button inside there you see that not one of those big buttons but the small button inside there that's a reset so reset then of course everything is zero and you start with uh, setting up the clock uh, so that's very useful to understand that there's a button inside there and then you see the lock symbol there that means that if I press something, nothing works. So as long as that, it's obviously protecting, so no kids can press or by mistake. Uh, auto, it means that the schedules are activated. And this is obviously the clock time right now. Monday, and then you have Tuesday, Wednesday, so forth uh, on the top there. So if I press four times here, that lock disappears. So now I can program. Uh, I'll show you the easiest thing to do first. You can just do like that, and now uh, the circuit is closed, and electricity goes to the tank. So if I want to do it manually, I can do that too. So now if I want to turn turn it off, I just press it uh, two times, and that's it. And it, will, it actually says off here. I don't know if you can see that. But, but now it's important that I put it in auto mode. Now it's in auto before I leave. Because if not, the schedule is not going to work, you know. So that's how that works. So if we want to program, we have to go on the timer. So we click on the timer. And then we see the different programs. Like, I think you have up to 32, which is obviously a lot more than you need. But, and then you have on and off. So two, and then three, on and off. And then you have the days when they are in use. So, for the first two, that was just me practicing. Uh, and then I set up the, the ones that are really important, and that are activated every day, which is normally what you want. And then, that's it. So, when it's like that, that's an empty. So, if I wanted now to make another one, I could by pressing hour. But we should do week first. Because then we can toggle, and we can... I would always want it every day, but there might be some some things that you only want some days. Uh, of course, if you are not there, for example, if it's a, something you only use in weekdays, for example. So now it's on every day, and then I press hour, 
and now it's rolling like that so but i'm not gonna set it but that's how it works and then you just go to minute and you press there and then when you're finished you press the timer again and then that's when it's supposed it will end so that's that's very easy and then when you have that you don't have to do anything for saving it saves automatically and you're off and running on that uh, schedule so that's how it works i really recommend that for anybody of course you you have to sort of not be scared of things like that to be able to use it properly because you, you have to push some buttons sometimes so if somebody's sort of scared of doing that then maybe that's not for them but i would say anybody else it's fairly easy to use and very useful if you have solar